Yeah, maybe I can also start introducing myself. I'm Benjamin Best. I work at the Wuppertal Institute, um, and I'm a co-head of a junior research group on energy sufficiency together with Frauke Wiese. Uh, she was one of the founding mothers also of the Open Mud, but she's not here yet because her night chat is late. So uh, hopefully she can join uh, at the end of the session or in the marketplace session and present her lightning talk. Yeah, I'm a sociologist uh, by training uh, and I have a research interest in energy sufficiency. Um, so we concern in our research group with energy scenarios with a decreasing energy service demand. I don't know if these slides are... So right now at the moment, we are observing a wave of scenarios that include energy sufficiency and a decreasing service demand. And there's a growing consensus as you can see on the left side in the scenario comparison about the amount that you can save until the year 2050 in industrialized countries. Um, and also on the right hand side, this is uh, our own contribution to a European scenario. So the different uh, types here are European nations and we contributed as a research group to the German uh, part. And these are as a corridor of uh, the reduction or also the um, the um, increase of person kilometers per capita until the year 2050. So sufficiency is not about reduction per se, it's also about having enough in terms of not too little. So um, next slide. This is the Sankey diagram from the same scenario process. And so these are the energy flows in the year 2050. And as you can see on the left-hand side, there's a very few imports in this um, in this scenario, so um, I would conclude that uh, sufficiency can also reduce the import dependency of energy systems and also to help to increase the resilience of the energy system. Next slide. Um, this is a narrative approach to our own scenarios for Germany. We use the cross impact balance analysis for this, uh, so we put. Uh, the experts from different disciplines in one room and uh, uh, ask them to define the expressions or the descriptors that are most important for an energy or climate neutral energy system in the year 2050. And uh, we came up with nine descriptors and I will just walk you through four of them. Next. So these are two green growth scenarios and two sufficiency scenarios. So in the um, green growth scenarios, obviously the discourse on green growth is more predominant and then the sufficiency scenarios, there's growth independence or even degrowth. Next slide, next please. Um, and in the sufficiency scenarios, um, we uh, uh, see that there's an expression of the uh, decreasing energy service demand. Next. Um, also, import and export are really important for the sufficiency scenarios. And in the green growth scenarios, import and export is only limited by technical and ecological economical constraints or planetary boundaries. And the sufficiency scenarios also use just this just distribution as a criterion. So globally and temporarily just distribution. Next. Um, Technological development has also been uh, identified as being key for the different differences between the scenarios. So green growth scenarios either go for technological optimism, so breakthrough technologies, uh, and green growth uh, scenario two is using an employment, fast employment of uh, technologies that we already know. And this, no, sorry, back. Uh, the sufficiency scenarios have quite a different stance on technological development. So either they use really different uh, technologies than we use nowadays. Uh, open source and open tech plays a role in convivial technologies as well. Or they have a really skeptical view on technology and resist the uh, rolling out of technologies. Uh, next slide. So it's an important next step for us to link these qualitative narratives into quantitative modeling. And we are doing this already with the Climate Pathway Explorer. It's a simulation tool online. Um, and you can choose between uh, different expressions of the, of the different um, 
indicators here from buildings, transport to imports and exports and also costs. Um, and this is uh, conducted by Kaya Dünsen uh, in a master thesis. But we also want to put these scenarios into energy modeling to be more precise and also to optimize uh, the futures, um, the scenarios. Um, yeah, and would like to invite you to join our um, breakout group in the evening as well.